Hi, I'm Sarah Powell with Esri, and I'm here with a special customer who's doing amazing things with GIS. Mendocino Redwood Companies runs their entire operation using cutting-edge technology with a commitment to doing it sustainably. Dennis, Sarah, can you introduce yourselves? I'm Dennis Tebow. I'm the Executive Vice President of Forestry for Mendocino Redwood Company. And hi, I'm Sarah Voting, Director of Stewardship for Mendocino Redwood Company. Dennis, can you talk about the mission of the company? Sure. You know, our companies were founded with the idea that we could manage our forests with a high degree of environmental stewardship and at the same time uh, operate as a successful business. And so what does that mean to us? It means that we protect all the old growth that we find on our property. We protect all those special and unique habitats that occur across our landscape, that we conduct our operations in a way that doesn't, you know, adversely affect water quality on the property, and that we continue to provide a sustainable and increasing supply of wood products for our sawmills and our employees and the community that we live in. How does ArcGIS help with that? Well, you know, one of the challenges of our business is that we hold a lot of data. You know, there's a lot of data that's been collected uh, historically over the years, as well as data that we're currently collecting, processing that data and making it readily available for people to utilize to make decisions. Uh, without ArcGIS, that data generally is stored independently on people's computers, and it's not available for our business. And a goal that we've had with our systems with ArcGIS has been to bring all of that data in-house, make it the company's data, not the user's data, so that it's available to everyone that we have working for us. Sarah, can you share your perspective on that? Right. Well, as Dennis mentioned, we have to get that information that's relevant and recent to our staff in order to better manage the timberlands. They need to know what happened when somebody was out serving for a rare plant, a spotted owl, a salmonid species, maybe yesterday, maybe an hour ago. And so our goal is to provide that accurate and relevant information that's spatially explicit right now. Oh, yeah. And you mentioned spotted owl. Can you dig into that a little bit? In Northern California, you're required to do a whole bunch of monitoring and checking for Northern spotted owls if you're gonna do a timber harvest. And that process, I think Dennis alluded to this, that was a process that before that was done pen and paper, uh, and that was held by the user. Now, we've been able to build a mobile data collection app so our surveyors can go out into the woods take that collection app, collect all the data. When they get back into service, they can then send it back to our centralized database where those users who before had to call that specific biologist to find out what was going on can now interact with it online. Then they can design the appropriate protections immediately or they can find out how much more surveying needs to get done before they can enact timber harvest operations. Uh, so this has enabled us to be so much more effective in our resource protection and management of that species. Thank you, Sarah. So Dennis, where do you see the value of GIS going forward? You know, I think as we continue, you know, down this road that we've uh, embarked upon to modernize, if you will, our databases, I see that providing us a benefit in all of the cumulative effect analysis that we have to do to obtain the permits we need to continue to operate out there on the forest to answer the questions uh, and address the concerns that regulators or neighbors or visitors might have. You know, I think most large landowners are probably faced with the same situation as us. We found that the agreement that we made with Esri, you know, really helped us along the ways to come up with the vision that we had and, and channel our effort into something that's become very productive for us. The value of information, thank you. Sarah, I'd like to ask the same of you. Is there anything else you'd like to share with us today? I imagine in the future we'll be able to have a, right from the start when someone's envisioning a harvest plan or some other project, we can bring it all the way through from planning to implementation to monitoring. And we have all of that information available to the users on our central platform that will make it super effective and really really help people to do their jobs uh, and protect their resources in a much more effective way. Right, doing it right from the start. Thank you, Dennis and Sarah, for spending time with me today and sharing your story.